Coral reefs are basically like big cities, where you have loud and messy neighbors, there's too much traffic, you always have to stand in line for everything, and everybody is always busy, busy, busy. Welcome to the city of fishes. The Safari Boat Gazala is taking our team to some of the most spectacular coral reefs in the Red Sea. Captain Abu Karim knows how to navigate the currents and strong winds in this area close to the Sinai Peninsula. The Red Sea only has an average temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, so we have to bundle up because we will be cold after a while. Well, at least I am. With us is Diab Sharif, our boat's team leader, making sure everything runs smoothly. He will also be underwater with us because he knows the area like the back of his hand. Our producer Sigurd Tesha, also my dad, making sure I'm all bundled up. The team has been well briefed and we will be filming in several different locations at the same time. Some last preparations. And we are off, exploring the colorful underwater reef society of the Red Sea. I can't wait to see what we will come across on this dive. This grumbly fellow is a crocodile fish, well camouflaged in the sand. A starry puffer fish with its four strong front teeth. An armada of sea urchins on their way somewhere. This ray would rather not get into a tassel with these spiny reef inhabitants. Scorpion fishes in what looks like a disagreement over a mate. A reef is built just like our big cities, and its inhabitants occupy certain regions of the reef, many of them depending on their purpose. These cleaner wrasse are currently tending to a customer. A moray eel, patiently enduring its morning spa routine. Clean teeth are important to the moray eel. This blue spotted stingray is searching for food in the sand. And this goby is looking to benefit from it. Is this red-toothed triggerfish also feeding? I carefully move closer with my camera. It looks like it is digging a nest. And it is making quite a mess. Oh, great. This means I have to clean the camera housing for hours now. A coral reef is always teeming with lots of sea life. Throughout the day, ocean inhabitants are busy either cleaning mating, protecting their territory, or feeding. The starry pufferfish is not interested in the school of bait fishes. It feeds on coral polyps, sponges, and crustaceans. The red-toothed triggerfish has a problem. This grouper is interested in feeding on the triggerfish's eggs. Although generally peaceful, the triggerfish will chase you away if you come too close to its nest. Guarding the eggs is a full-time job. And just as one dangerous situation has been averted, here comes another. There's the Amada of sea urchins again, and now we know where they were heading. It seems like everybody has it out for this poor triggerfish's eggs. The triggerfish is not bothered by this urchin's spines, and makes quick work of this prickly thief. While also getting a bite to eat. These beautiful anemones, poisonous to most reef inhabitants, live in a symbiotic relationship with clownfishes. 
The anemone offers the clownfishes a home and an occasional food scrap. And in return, the fishes protect the anemone from predators and parasites. One small problem. If the anemone feeds or senses danger, it will close up shop and the clowns are locked out of their home. They will skip from one anemone to another until they find one that is open, even if that is already occupied. The anemone's original inhabitants are not very welcoming hosts and will chase this newcomer away. Coral reefs are the most biodiverse ecosystems in the world. And the reefs here in the Red Sea are about 6,000 years old. A reef is a habitat for many different sea creatures and curious animal relationships. This goby is sharing a burrow with a pistol shrimp. It is a symbiotic relationship in which the shrimp keeps the burrow clean and the goby offers protection. The shrimp has poor eyesight and relies on the movements of the goby to alert to danger. This tiny crustacean uses its antennae to keep in close contact with the fish. As our day comes to an end, the reef inhabitants below our ship will only slightly slow down their pace for the night. These beautiful reef habitats are fragile ecosystems that only work if their balance is maintained. They are easily threatened by temperature changes, pollution and overfishing. A shame if they went away. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the other films as well and remember, always keep your fins wet.